Welcome to Lee Business School Undergraduate Advising's online group advising session. Before today, you should have received an email from Undergraduate Advising with a copy of a degree worksheet and a suggested schedule for the fall. Keep these documents handy during the presentation. You'll also need the handouts posted in Web Campus. You can find the handouts in the module titled Handouts. If you haven't yet done so, I recommend you download those documents to your computer and refer to them during the presentation. This orientation will take approximately one hour, so make yourself comfortable. I recommend you take notes because there's a brief quiz at the end of the presentation. You'll need to successfully complete the quiz before we can remove the hold from your registration. You'll have opportunities throughout the presentation to ask questions. There will also be a Q&A time after the presentation. Before I explain the information listed on this slide, I want to point out something to you. In the top right corner of certain slides, I've added a prompt or suggestion. In this case, the prompt points you to the green handout posted in Web Campus. The green handout is called Majors and Minors. You may want to have that handout visible now. Lee Business School has five academic departments. They are the departments of Accounting, Economics, Finance, Management, Entrepreneurship and Technology, or MET for short, Marketing and International Business, or MIB for short. The school offers two degree programs and nine majors. The advisors in our undergraduate advising office advise students interested in any of these majors. Lee Business School offers two degree programs. One is called the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, or BSBA. The other degree program, the Bachelor of Arts, is available for the economics major only. In fact, economics is a major for both BSBA and BA degree programs. If you're interested in economics as a major, you should schedule an appointment with an academic advisor before fall semester begins. Now, let me explain something about your current major. Right now, your major is business pre-major. That means you're not yet a finance major or an accounting major or a management major. That comes after you complete certain requirements and then apply to a specific business major. We'll talk more about this later, but for now, I want you to know that everyone is a business pre-major student upon admission to Lee Business School. This information is on the green handout as well. Business schools can pursue accreditation separate from the university's accreditation. Lee Business School. I'm going to spend some time talking about the undergraduate catalog and what's in it. The catalog includes information about. Now let's talk about some specific Lee Business School policies and requirements. This slide lists. You're probably wondering how UNLV and Lee Business School determine what classes we will accept and apply to your degree. You can refer to the blue handout for this slide. During your admissions process, you sent UNLV transcripts from all the schools you previously attended. You sent your AP scores. Next, UNLV's admissions office determined which classes UNLV would accept for university credit. You may have earned credit for a class at another school, but UNLV may not have granted you credit. This happens when you took a preparatory class, perhaps a math class. You may have gone to a school that offered religion or theology classes, but UNLV doesn't grant credit for religion classes. You may have taken classes that UNLV considers vocational, such as EMT training. After admissions completes its, its evaluation, then Lee Business School can determine which Degree applicable classes. There may be some courses that we didn't include on your worksheet. Here are a few reasons that may be the case. You may have courses in progress this semester. Now let's talk about the anatomy of your degree worksheet. How do you make sense of it? Notice that your catalog year of 2021 is on the top of the worksheet. Remember, your catalog year is important 
because your academic requirements are specific to your catalog year. Next, notice the word unofficial in blue in the top right corner of your worksheet. Right now, UNLV and Lee Business School are finalizing the academic requirements for the 2021 catalog year. We don't expect many changes from what you're seeing on the worksheet. If there are changes that affect you, we will let you know. Once the requirements are final, we'll remove the word unofficial from your worksheet. The next area highlighted in purple lists the UNLV general education requirements you must satisfy. These requirements are explained on the purple handout. General education includes the following. Six credits of English composition. One of these classes, English 102, satisfies both a gen ed requirement and a business requirement. Next, four credits of U.S. and Nevada Constitution. Below that, three credits of math. Business students must satisfy the minimum level of college algebra, which is Math 124 at UNLV. Next, six credits of Humanities. Com 101, which is public speaking, satisfies both a Gen Ed requirement and a business requirement. Next, six credits of Sciences. One of your classes must include a lab. As a result, you'll probably end up with seven credits of Sciences. One, three credit lab non-lab course and one four credit lab course. Next, three credits of analytical thinking. Below that, three credits for a first year seminar. If you earn 30 transfer credits before you begin at UNLV, then the first year seminar will be waived. Below that is the second year seminar. If you earn 60 transfer credits before you begin at UNLV, then the second year seminar will be waived. Multicultural and international. You'll need three credits in each area. However, these credits may overlap with other required courses. For example, if you take a foreign language to satisfy one of your humanities requirements, then that course will also satisfy the international requirement. This is a very efficient way to satisfy requirements because you'll satisfy two requirements with three credits. The yellow section on this page is for general electives. To earn a business degree, you must earn at least 120 credits. After you count all the required credits you must take, you'll still need some electives to reach 120. Those are your electives, and you may choose what you want to study. This slide shows you a picture of the purple handout. Use this handout to identify subject matters and courses that are allowed to satisfy certain Gen Ed requirements. If I use the example of foreign language from the previous slide, you'll notice that foreign languages are listed under Humanities. This means that you can take a foreign language to satisfy one of your two Humanities requirements. If you have earned one of these three associate degrees from a Nevada Community College, then you've satisfied general education at UNLV. An AB, AA, or AS degree from a Nevada System Community College satisfies your Gen Ed at UNLV. If you have classes in progress to complete your degree at, U at a Nevada System Community College, then your Gen Ed would be satisfied upon completion of the degree. You'll need to send UNLV a final transcript with your degree posted. An AAS or non-Nevada associate degree does not qualify to satisfy Gen Ed at UNLV. The second page or reverse side of your degree worksheet lists the Lee Business School requirements. The first section lists the business pre-major requirements. Remember way back on the first slide, I mentioned that upon admission, your major is business pre-major? Well, these nine courses are part of the pre-major requirements that you must complete before you may continue to your upper division business classes. The details of admission of the major are on the gray handout, which is why these courses are shaded in gray on this slide. The second item is business 321. This course is called business communications 
and it's required for all business students. The next section lists the upper division business core classes, again required by all business students. One note, all students except accounting majors must take BLW 302, which is legal environment of business. Accounting majors take accounting 473 instead, which is law for accountants. The last section is where your major courses will go. These eight classes will be specific to the major you choose. Those majors are listed on the green handout. This slide shows you a copy of a blank transfer plan. You received a personalized one via email. Let's talk about how to make sense of this document. Lee Business School cannot determine the degree applicability of non-business courses. This means we may need to ask other colleges on campus for an evaluation. When this happens, your academic advisor sends an evaluation request to the appropriate college. If your advisor needed to do this for any of your classes, she or he would have noted that on the transfer plan. It's not unusual for evaluators to require a syllabus before making a decision about either a business or non-business class. If we need a syllabus, we would have written that information here. The instructions for submitting a syllabus are on the transfer plan. See the bottom right corner. Once we have a decision on the evaluation request, we will email you at your Rebel Mail. Let's talk about your Rebel Mail email address. Rebel Mail is the official method of communication UNLV uses to contact you. Lee Business School sends information to your Rebel Mail about special events, scholarships, and career opportunities. If you don't use your Rebel Mail, you'll miss out. When emailing your advisors and professors, use your Rebel Mail. In fact, our advisors won't reply to an email sent from a non-Rebel Mail address. By using your Rebel Mail account, we're able to assume a level of confidentiality when communicating with you. Unless, of course, you've given your login information to someone else, which isn't a good idea. Remember to include your name and NCID number in all your emails. Another benefit of using your Rebel Mail is that it looks professional on a resume. During the next part of the presentation, I'll explain some important academic policies you need to know about. Here's a list of what's coming up. The pink handout is the reference sheet for this slide. If you have a transfer course that is currently satisfying Math 124 or Math 127 or higher on your degree worksheet, then you don't need to worry about qualifying for math courses at UNLV. If you have a transfer course posted on your worksheet for either English 101 or 102, then you don't need to qualify for future English classes. For anyone else, this information is critical for you. You may not take English and math classes at UNLV without first qualifying for those classes. Qualifying can happen as a result of either taking a preparatory class or taking a placement exam. Let's talk about English first. The English department allows students to place into freshman composition based on certain scores earned on the ACT or SAT or on AP composition tests. The minimum scores are listed on this slide and on your pink handout. The first freshman composition class you must take is English 101. If your test scores don't qualify you for English 101, then you may take English 101E in one semester and English 101F in the next. Both classes are three credits each, and you need both to satisfy the English 101 requirement. If you're a non-native English speaker, you may take English 113 in place of English 101, or English 113 E and F in place of English 101 E and F. Now, let's talk about math. Business students must satisfy the math requirement with college algebra or higher. College algebra at UNLV is Math 124. The first option to qualify for Math 124 is to take Math 96. Math 96 is a three-credit preparatory class. 
you must earn a minimum C grade to advance to Math 124. You do not earn credits for Math 96 and it doesn't count in your GPA. This is a good option if it's been a while since you've had math. Another option for placement is to take an exam. Many students have taken the ACT or SAT exams. If you've taken that exam within the last two years, then we can use that score to determine your eligibility for Math 124 or higher. If your test scores are not at UNLV, then you must send them to, UNL to the registrar's office so the scores can be posted in My UNLV. If your tests are too old, or if you think you didn't earn the minimum scores listed on the pink handout, then you may consider taking either the Math Department's placement exam or the Alex exam. This is an online exam, which is probably your best option right now. For information about all these testing options, see the other side of the pink handout We've included the information about the testing options and contact information. Now we're going to talk about how to get admitted to your major. Being admitted to your major means that you're allowed to take upper division business classes. The gray handout, which is the application of the major, lists the requirements you need. You must have a combination of credits, specific courses, and minimum grades and GPA. First, you must have at least 55 credits completed or in progress. Second, you must have completed these nine courses with a minimum C grade. Completed means that these courses have been posted to your transcript with a final grade. Third, you must have a minimum 2.75 UNLV GPA. Because you're transfer students, you probably won't have a UNLV GPA. In that case, we'll use your transfer GPA as was calculated by admissions as part of your application. It's very important that you understand that these requirements establish an either or admission standard. Either you have the GPA or not. If not, then you won't be admitted to the major. Either you've earned the minimum C grades in each business pre-major class, or you won't be admitted to the major. If you have satisfied all the requirements, you should complete and submit the application as soon as possible. You can email the completed application to undergraduate advising at lbsadvising at unlv.edu. The address is printed on the top of the application. Oh, Remember that your catalog year is 2021. You'll have to fill that out on the application. So what happens if you don't have a 275 transfer? Are you a former UNLV student? If so, then you have an academic record at UNLV and any transfer work you've done since you left doesn't over. Notice the camera icon in the top right corner of this page. If this slide is relevant to you, you may want to take a picture of it. One strategy to raise your UNLV GPA is to repeat classes. Before you do this though, talk with your advisor. The policies surrounding repeating classes are complicated. Your advisor will make recommendations based on your particular situation. Another strategy is to request academic renewal through the register. The next policy I need to explain is the minimum C grade policy. You must earn a minimum C grade in each business class you take. The same goes for each pre-major course. The pre-majors include three non-business classes, yet you need a minimum C grade in those three classes because they're pre-major courses. Those three classes are English 102, Com 101, which is public speaking, and Math 127 or higher. An easy way to remember which classes need the minimum C grade is to look at the second page of your worksheet, the Lead Business School page. You need a minimum C grade in each of the classes on this page. You also need a minimum C grade in any class that is a prerequisite to a business class. That means you must earn a minimum C grade in college algebra. Algebra is a prerequisite to three other business classes, microeconomics, macroeconomics, and statistics. And it doesn't matter at what school you took the class. 
you still need to have earned the minimum C grade. On the previous slide, I explained the minimum C grade requirement. The information on this slide applies to students who plan to take upper division accounting classes. If that's you, then you'll need to earn a minimum B minus grade in Accounting 201 and Accounting 202. The B minus grade is part of the course prerequisites for upper division accounting classes. If you don't plan to take upper division accounting classes, then the minimum C grade is fine. You are allowed three attempts to earn the minimum C grade in a business class. If you don't earn the minimum C grade within those three attempts, then you can't be a business major. A through F grades count as attempts. Drops and audits don't count as attempts unless the drop or audit is in an upper division accounting class. Then the drops and audits do count as attempts. The information on this slide is specific to students who plan to take accounting classes. Before being allowed to take upper division accounting classes, of course you must be admitted to the major. You also have to have earned a minimum B minus grade in Accounting 201 and in Accounting 202. Additionally, you have to pass a competency exam on the information from Accounting 201 and 202. The exam is part of the prerequisites for Accounting 400 and 405. The results of your exam are valid for seven months to satisfy the course prerequisites. The competency exam is administered by the accounting department. For information, go to the URL listed on this slide. UNLV and Lee Business School have some rules about how many transfer credits you may apply to your degree from UNLV. 50% of all your credits must be earned at a four-year school. You need at least 120 credits to earn a degree from UNLV. Half of those credits, or 60, must be earned from a four-year school. 50% of all business classes must be earned at UNLV. If you look at the Lee page of your degree worksheet, you'll see that there are 24 business courses required. They include six pre-major business courses, Business 321, Upper Division Business Core, and major courses. Half of those classes, or 12, must be completed at UNLV. The third 50% rule requires that half of your major courses be taken at UNLV. There are eight classes in a business major. At least four of them must be taken at UNLV. You've been admitted to UNLV for fall 2020. Sometimes though, students want to take a class at UNLV before fall. In order to do that, you would need to request to attend UNLV as a non-degree seeking student for summer 2020. Students decide to do this for different reasons. One might be because you have one pre-major course remaining to finish before you can apply to the major. If you want to take classes at UNLV before your term of admission, you must submit a form to the registrar's office to make that request. Take note of the URL on this screen. When we're fully staffed, our undergraduate advising center has six full-time professional academic advisors. Currently, we have two open positions. Our advisors meet with students for 30-minute appointments, which you must schedule ahead of time. We also have drop-in availability for quick questions. Drop-ins are on a first-come, first-served basis. Given, given the situation now with COVID-19 and working remotely, we have suspended drop-ins. We assign you to an advisor based on the first letter of your last name. For those of you who don't have an assigned advisor right now, you may meet with one of the other advisors. Our academic advisors can help you understand your academic requirements. In addition, the advisors can help you explore your interests and goals and help you identify opportunities to support those goals. The advisors are very knowledgeable about what resources UNLV has to offer you. If you find yourself unsure about where to go for information, 
contact our office. The Medallion Program is designed to provide students with opportunities to continue learning outside the classroom. Through this program, students can participate in workshops and events that support students' professional goals. Students who successfully complete the program will be awarded a medallion to wear at graduation. To join the program, you must be admitted to the major, and joining is easy. You simply check the medallion box on the application to the major. For more information about this program, visit the URL listed on this slide. This slide provides you with some information about opportunities for scholarships and financial aid. Please take a picture of this slide so you can visit the websites later. Before you can register for classes, there are a few things you need to do. I'll explain them on this slide and the next. After this presentation, you'll need to complete a quiz in Web Campus. The quiz is brief and it's based on the information in this presentation. You'll have access to this presentation after the session so you can refer to it as needed. You must earn a minimum 60% on the quiz. You have multiple attempts to earn that score. After you complete the quiz, Undergraduate Advising will receive an email. We'll remove your registra registration hold within two business days. You may not be able to register for all your courses right away for several reasons. You can't take upper division business classes until you've been admitted to your business major. You have to apply to the major once you've met all the requirements. One business class is an exception to this rule, and that's Business 321. You may take Business 321 before admission in the major if you've earned a minimum C grade in both English 102 and COM 101. If you're eligible, an advisor has probably already given you permission to enroll in Business 321. If you're not yet eligible to apply to the major, this could be because your transfer GPA is not a 2.75, or you're missing pre-major courses, or you don't have enough credits yet. You might not be able to register for all your classes now because you might need permission to enroll in some courses. Sometimes MyUNLV can't read your transfer courses properly. If this is the case, you may email undergraduate advising to request permission. Syllabi may also hold up the, uh, your registration you might need to have some courses evaluated for degree applicability. If an advisor has requested a syllabus for a business class or an English class or a math class, work on submitting those syllabi as soon as possible. For upper division accounting classes, you have to be admitted to the major, but you also have to have taken the competency exam and have a minimum B minus grade in both accounting 201 and 202. Another reason you may not be able to register yet is that you haven't accepted your admission in MyUNLV. If that's the case, then you don't have access to the registration system yet. Accept your admission today. We're wrapping up the presentation. Let's go through a list of things that you need to do between now and the beginning of fall. Most of the items listed under ASAP I reviewed on the previous two slides. The items listed under the heading before fall are things you'll need to take care of between now and August. UNLV will send you information about UNLV Creates and Welcome Day. Creates and Welcome Day are fun ways to kick off your start at UNLV. Take a picture of this slide so you have a list of the things you need to do, to do between now and the beginning of fall semester. I realize this presentation covered a lot of information, and I'm sure you have questions. We have advisors available to answer some of your questions now. In WebEx, you'll be able to virtually raise your hand. The advisor will activate your audio so you can ask the question. We'll take your questions now.